Rest in peace, Yigito. You will not be forgotten. You have served us well. But now someone else has come and completely blown you out of the water. And that unit is going to be Ashura, everybody. The super impact that's about to hit Blazing on Global and is currently out on JP. This is his original, you know, his PvE form. Uh, this is going to be his PvP form. But we're not here to talk about the artworks. We're here to talk about the stats and why Ashura's existence has completely made Yugito irrelevant. Completely. In every single way now to uh like before we get into it let's go a little bit over the stats as to why he completely blows her out the water but um you know 2800 hp because they don't count the pills so 2800 hp 1832 attack he's got a really good field skill buddy skill is meh his jutsu and ultimate jutsu are going to be 612 chakra i do not like 612 chakra units at all you know, but because personally, I was liking everything about this unit until I saw that. But you look at his jutsu, it's going to be AoE, so it hits all enemies, 70% chance of weakening your attack for five turns and knocks them back. Attack weakening is a very, very good thing because not many bosses are immune to it. As a matter of fact, I cannot tell you any bosses that are immune to it. And then we have 12 times attack to all enemies in range on his ultimate, 80% attack weakening for eight turns. And then nullifies type disadvantage. Nullifies type disadvantage means he's going to be doing the exact same amount of damage he will be doing to any other type. Um, any other type being heart, bravery, and um, wisdom to a body type character. So he's already fantastic in that alone. And then his abilities. 20% chance of getting his jutsu off for free. 400 self heal every turn. And then 50% body reduction on his abilities absolutely amazing abilities and then his sync skill is going to be with heart 75 attack boost short range 50 percent not 50 percent 50 extra hp every turn so the short range you might have to work on a little bit but running him in a full heart team is going to be easy peasy so why does he completely blow yugi to out of the water if you guys don't know what she does what she was known for because not anymore she was known as being the body tank when she first came out, she was a godsend. People would farm multiple copies of her, you know. I knew somebody who farmed three of her, three copies of her to ultimate, just because of how good she was when she first came out, being able to tank against, you know, body types and get all those heart-only objectives done for people because she had 50% total body um, damage reduction, which means you would be taking less damage from, uh, she would be taking less damage from a body unit than another like any other type of unit so if a body character hits uh somebody for 100 she'll be taking like 90 damage normally making her better than any other unit to tank unless they of course have damage reduction themselves but you know getting back to the point she's 612 chakra people she is a short range unit she has this much hp and strength and i'm just going to pull up this little amount right here because i did the calculations already this is pretty much maximum or broken their stats she has this much HP in attack, and Ashura has this much HP in attack. He has like 350 more HP than her. Their attacks are very similar. She has a little bit of an edge on him there. Um, and they both have the same sync skill with heart, like 75 extra attack boost. So she'll always have more attack than him. That's the one thing she has over him. But uh, even the Jutsus, I mean, come on. Look, her Jutsu is four times attack to one enemy. So this is how much she hits for one enemy on, whereas Ashura hits multiple enemies with his. And wait until I show you guys the range, it's absolutely incredible. Multiple characters, weakens their attack, and knocks them back. Her ultimate, okay, has 60% chance of weakening their attack for 5 turns, but remember Ashura has 80% for 8 turns. And not only does he do about 7, actually more than 7,000 damage in Yugito. But he also ignores type disadvantage so he's going to be dealing like when i say like the number right here he's going to be dealing that much damage to body units anyway her damage gets cut in half so she'll be dealing about seven thousand damage to body units with her ultimate so already it's it's not looking good for yugito the only other thing she has that ashura won't ever have is the field and buddy skill something that no one ever really was a fan of she reduces the chance of your attack being reduced 
not many enemies even do that to you in the first place and I, I you know I have yet to see people running you know Yugi Toe just for attack reduction buddy skills because there's plenty of other units who do that you know but uh, hey that's what's up with Ashura people he's a fantastic free to play unit because of his not just his tanking ability which is the exact same as Yugi Toe like what she has in five separate abilities he has in two but he has the 400 self healing and then he has a chance of getting his jutsu off for free which is a really big deal because you can spam his jutsu multiple times and keep stacking attack reduction that way by the way you guys this is on anton laps page shout out to him this is where i'm getting the uh you know translations from i'm also going to jump over to nordak's page for the jutsu real quick shout out to him as well because he leaks plenty of stuff too so let's get this making Naruto. Um, I, I'm probably going to talk. Oh wait, uh, I did not pick the video for making Naruto. I'll talk about him a little later, I guess. But um, Mega Naruto is a 100% the uh, April Fools unit. That's why he has 41 in so many of his stats. So he'll be dropping on April Fools. They did this last year with the uh, Sword Naruto. But uh, here's what I want to show you guys: Ashura's Jutsu range. Do you see this? This is incredible. Like. Free to play units don't have this type of range usually. The only other unit I know who has this is, I'm about to say his mom, his grandmother, technically, uh, the free to play skill Kaguya. She has this type of range on her first jutsu, and it has helped me so many times for completing objectives. I still use her to this day just because of the range on this first hitbox. So he's already incredible because of that alone. His uh, Jutsu is going to be the exact same as his ultimate on the Wisdom PvP one. And then you have his ultimate, uh, which is pretty sick as well. Really cool animation. But e even then, uh, let's go back a little bit. So you can see the range on that. Okay, player was at messing up on me a little bit. But yeah, this hitbox is even bigger than his jutsu. Yugito's hitbox on her ultimate was pretty good. It was a rectangle going across the whole screen. You know, very, very good anyway. But uh, his is just as good as hers, which is also incredible for a free to play unit. So because he has that, you know, at his hands already, I highly, highly recommend you guys farm him. Um, even if you're not big on trying to get him max limit broken and all that, at least get all of his skills on the man you can't go without the skills he, he heals for you he tanks for you he has a reset he you know nullifies attack reduction no i'm sorry he doesn't nullify attack reduction he nullifies type disadvantage on body units and he has attack weakening on the jutsu and ultimate body reduction field skill he's too good to pass up on so at least get him to max um abilities if you can help it that's what you want to do that's the goal here um the only thing Yugito even has over him at this point is uh, her cost being 40 mag stooped, so she's slightly cheaper for people, not like it's that big of a deal, and her impact's going to be easier than his most likely for people, you know. Now let's talk about the uh, Blazing Awakened version of him, where we're going to focus on the stats right here, so I can give you guys my opinion on him in PvP. And um, he's not game breaking by any means, we have plenty of good heart units, but I'll say he's pretty decent honestly I don't see him being too bad of a unit and uh, you know here's what's up with it right so he's gonna have 3200 attack 37 thousand I'm sorry 34,780 HP and then 292 speed so he has some very good speed you know at his hands already almost 300 that's not bad whatsoever um, I'm I was expecting this ability in the first place reduce um, reduce chakra gauge just because I saw 612 Chakra and up till this point in the, the game, the one thing Bandai has been good on is they never, never make a Blazing Bash unit 612 Chakra unless they have a Chakra Gauge ability. Like they haven't done that to us yet. They've been nice enough there. They haven't been like, here's a new unit, 612 Chakra. He's stuck like that, you know. Uh, so that's unfortunate that they didn't just make him 512, 510 in the first place, but it is what it is. All of his abilities, however, are going to be self-healing and then HP recovery ceiling. So the recovery ceiling abilities mean he's 70% chance immune to it, which I'm going to be real, it pretty much just cancels out all HP recovery ceiling stuff in the first place. Like most characters who have this ability, they don't have like 100% 
health recovery ceiling. Like he's good against Hashirama, Ido Hashirama, but people don't use Ido Hashirama in PvP that much. They use him if they have nothing better to use, you know? And then he has the healing, so in PvP he's going to be healing 1000 every turn. I will tell you this from personal opinion, not, um, not I'm sorry, personal experience, right? Healing can save you in PvP. People don't focus on it that much or give it that much attention. They know after playing PvP so long what kills and stuff like that. But the HP healing can very well turn the tide of battle. I know this because I've set up teams before in tactics where I can two-shot a Final Valley Naruto. And they live the two-shot just because of they're having uh, them having uh, their other, let's say their second row or third row faster than mine. Their rows being faster means that their Naruto gets a chance to heal. And Naruto heals for 2,125 every turn on PvP. So if I have a tactic to beat him, but three turns pass before I can, you know, execute that tactic, he just healed himself back 6,000 HP. That can throw off, you know, the numbers that you have for your plan. So it's not a bad thing to have that. His Jutsu is going to be 5.5 times damage and heart damage to uh, all enemies. Knocks them back, and then he restores two chakra and restores 12,500 HP. So the way I would see you guys wanting to run this unit is have him like in the front. You know, he'd be first lane front row or second lane front row, and you try to regenerate for him. He is, you know, at risk at that point from getting hit by somebody who steals chakra. But um, in this case, like a unit who can restore their own HP, it's a good idea to let him take some damage and then you can use his Jutsu and he will heal himself back. Kind of discouraging people to continue, you know, continue going for him. He's a tank in that regard just because of the amount of HP he has. Healing this amount of HP is really good too. And uh, let's go ahead and do the calculations real quick just to see how much he's going to do. So, uh, that's, that's wrong. So that's how much he has with pills. Multiply that times the Jutsu. He's going to be doing 17,600 damage on PvP. That's not bad damage whatsoever. That's that's decent, you know. Um, it depends when it comes to the knockback. If the knockback is really, really strong, you could use him and shoot some people into some negative areas, kind of like how you do with Final Valley Naruto or Final Valley Sasuke. You know, so you've dealt with a unit at this point who can push back. So... Um, it depends what, you know, how strong it is, but that's nice. Um, restoring two chakra makes it so that if it laps back around to his turn again, you can once again use his jutsu and get back more HP. But the way PvP is now and how fast a match can be over, I don't see you running into a situation where you can use his jutsu and then he comes back to his turn again and then you want to use his jutsu again. Chances are you might want to use who's um, backing him up because they have more HP or I don't know a helpful ability because he, he his abilities affect himself you know it's not one of those things that can chakra seal or switch seal your opponents at all so um, if anything this is Bandai's attempt Grease attempt at giving us a unit who can heal themselves in PvP because you can't just have units who heal themselves and that's it. That's They're going to be virtually useless in PvP unless they're a 2-4 chakra unit, you know, um, with 500 speed, by the way. Then that makes sense. But in this case, they're, um, this is their attempt at making another healing character like uh, Bravery Pain because he is in the same type of boat. He has damage reduction, though, which is really helpful. So this is sure if you ran him with someone else who gives him damage reduction from a buddy skill is going to be extremely tanky. Me personally, I'm not going to go out my way to take out somebody who has this much HP, you know. That, that's how you can use him to your advantage. It's not about his damage output. It's about having him being so tanky, people will struggle trying to kill him unless they're running multiple Final Valley Sasuke's. But um, if you don't know, Final Valley Naruto is way more prevalent than Sasuke just because of the rarity. Like, Naruto's been more available thanks to his uh, birthday and stuff, but... Um, yeah guys, at the end of the day, Ashura, very good unit, make sure you farm him, get, you know, all the abilities on him. Um, another little thing worth mentioning, I guess, is that he has 250 healing apiece, so it's 500 self-healing on his Blazing Awakened version, versus the other version just having 400, so if you want 100 extra healing, you can do that, but you're sacrificing a lot, <laughs> a lot to use him like that, as in no bonus effects, 
from the you know jutsus being attack reduction inflicting and then the type disadvantage all the other uh good stuff like tanking and resets all that jazz so f in the chat for yugito you know she was a very good unit when she first came out <laughs> and um me personally i stopped using her because I, I really do hate a lot of 612 chakra units with the uh, passion yeah i don't <laughs> i would go out my way to use other units like with a sync skill and some damage reduction body uh buddy skill before using her but uh in, in Ashura's case, I'm willing to make the exception again to use him just because he nullifies type disadvantage. That's too freaking good. That alone, you know, so. And, and awesome hitboxes, so. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe before you go. Peace. That's right.